see this world, changing your mindset. COVID-19 pandemic has been a problem globally for a lot of businesses. And one of the sectors that was badly hit is the hospitality industry. Today we are at Macaulay Hotel. We're here today to have a chat with the chairman, Chief Dr. Sir Emmanuel Frank Okafor. We want to find out his experience, his challenges, and his plan so far as government has eased down the lockdown. Welcome to another episode of BD Sword. Good to have you here today. Don't go away, we'll be right back. BD Sword, changing your mindset. Welcome back to Jack joining us. This is BD Sword. And my guest today on the show is the chairman of Macapoli Group of Company. He's the brain behind Macapoli Practice and Macapoli Hotel. And he's no other person. Join me to welcome. The big masquerade himself, the chairman of the group of company, Chief Dr. Sa, Emmanuel Frank Okaf, Oma Na Good to have you here today. Yeah, we're actually talking about the challenges the hostel industry, the industry had during this pandemic. A lot of hotels are expected to change their modus of operation. Do you understand? Has this in any way affected my hotel and suits? Before I get to that question, I want to first of all say, glory be to God that we are right today. Because exactly. I can only talk about this love, not that we are right. Exactly, because we lost a lot of people and still losing. Yeah. This year is a special year for everyone that's saving. So that's the most important thing. Most important thing for me and what I stand for. Hmm. And uh, I believe that we are going to see the end of the year, the beginning of the year, by God. Amen. Did you say that, Amen? Yeah, oh, well. Uh, pandemic is what affects the world generally. Yeah. So it's not, it's not about uh, Nigeria. Nigeria or Marco Polo or our business because the truth is that we are less hit in Nigeria compared to Europe and Americas. So I think we are still better off. It's a lot, a lot easier because uh, Nigeria is a economy that drives in everyday business. Uh, yeah. So, daily income. The hotel was uh, badly hit because the government shut down the hotel completely, which we are among the people that they shut down. So now it's like starting to open up again. So, I believe and the airports have hope that it's going to be better because there's still a hope by the end of the road. I know Fairwind has actually made a lot of outlines how things should be done, eating out, all those things. Has it in any way affected your business? Yeah, of course it affected the business because uh, right now there's a lot of uh, standard procedures yeah. that we are expecting to abide, abide by. with. And wish uh, Marco Polo being a hotel that have a good standard always observed because for us cleanliness and neatness is very important. Mm -hmm. So right now government have put a lot of procedure and standard which you have to find Marco Polo is one of the hotel that is pulling that step one hundred percent. And if we're going to out of our way to add to it to make sure that those standards that government Ooh, that's a real maintain here. Another problem hotels might be having is getting guests to believe in the hotel they are going to or the travelers about their safety. Do you understand? So what are you doing? That this now is between Macapolo and the customers or the big customers. What are you doing to let them know that ah, you are safe coming to lodge with us or do business with us? What are the other partners you are putting? to make sure that when people come here they feel they are safe. Oh, we have a lot of standard procedures which we have put in place to reassure our customer of the safety of coming to use Marco Polo. Like uh, when you are getting into the hotel your temperature has to be shaken. You meant to wash your hands. We we always forget the place against all, any kind of virus and the, all those things. And the, we made the staff to always cover the nose 
those uh, NDCDC standard that just say every organization will implement, we keep it in place. We reduce, reduce our staff strength to have less people and we distance our, our chairs, our sitting together yeah. and all those things. So we done a lot to make sure that uh, our customers have confidence in coming back and the, many a times anyone that comes here and see what we are doing, we are happy with our family. comfortable. Yeah. So far, how is business so far? The business so far is just uh, about picking up. It seems true because uh, economically everybody is affected, individual companies. So uh, being a luxury brand, people are coming but it's just gradual because uh, it's not, it's it's not be. what it used to be before now. Chief Dr. Sir Emmanuel Frank Okafo, you've been doing business, you get yourself into a lot of business, you're going to pop properties. Please tell us a little about properties in Nigeria. Okay, actually, what uh, give back to Makoko Hotel is Makoko Properties. Mm. Uh, we, I, as a person on my team, have been doing property for close to 20 years now. Mm. Because my, two tickets anyway. Yeah. My, my belief in life is that one of the most essential part of human beings is shelter. Exactly. And going up, I see people under the bridge. I see people homeless. I begin to think how can I help and make these people to have shelter. And one of the things that come into my mind is can't you start building houses yeah, that is that is going to be affordable for people, putting the for people heads and all those stuff. So I begin to notion this vision okay. and the passion and the I take a step. Which was which year? I take my first step about a, 2002, that was my first step of taking step going through properties of commercial purpose. And since then, I have been in that business with my team. We have done a whole lot of housing estate across Nigeria. So, can you let us into how it's been done? See that, uh, please just let us have it in your for the benefit of people who are watching, so they will understand my couple properties. Okay, our process are always simple in the sense that we bid across the Nigeria. Across Nigeria one, we bid across all the segments of uh, cash flow, maybe cash flow when you have uh, poor, medium and high class. High class yeah. So uh, what I have uh, done over the years is to have to play around this place I thought that the houses that can be affordable, middle class houses, glossy houses. So that people of and any shelter classes. can be able to afford, afford it. it. And the one thing I'm doing today to make it even easier for people is that give them payment plan that they can pay over 24 months or 6 months, wow. 60, 60 months. Wow. What, what that mean? We have a lot of ongoing consign, consortium sites. What you need to do is to do as little as 1 million naira deposit, 2 million naira deposit to hold a home and we give right. a payment plan to pay for a longer period and also if we cannot even pay can I leave the mortgage option for you for bank to give you a mortgage to hold it home. So and the people are happy with my properties today because uh, one of our strengths is having a defiance for people that have done business with us in the past. Now during the instrumental process, is it when you finish paying the, the key will be given to you or the, the, once you have entered into an agreement with the properties? Will be given to you. How is it done? You, you, I... The way the way we operate is that uh, we expect you to plan your end to pay over a period of time, and it's only when you finish paying that you have your key. That's one option. Another option is that we arrange the mortgage for you that you pay what you can pay, and the bank can loan the money one that will, you will still be paying and finish the over time. So you have an option of having your key today by arranging the mortgage for you. Mm -hmm or paying over time based on your income to hold a home because this is a process you can plan for your future. Exactly. That's the good part of what we are doing today. Why is it that most Nigerians don't believe in COVID-19? As a title chief, use your office and answer this question. 
Anyway, COVID-19 doesn't have anything to do with that so because <laughs> her president doesn't know what your title is. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> you can see many people, many people are, we have lost our, we have lost our, our, <laughs> own, our own world. So it got anything to do with title shape. But the truth of the matter is that uh, COVID-19 is real. It's real because uh, we can see the effect that it has affected the world. If it can affect the health of world, America is yeah. a hero. So there's no doubt anybody has to talk about this. I always advise people to pre caution and uh, believe that it's only a The only thing I can say is that God is still God, the God of Nigeria is great, and we thank God that I'll make it not to be so bad for Nigeria. The people do not shouldn't undermine that or don't have that belief. That's what it's, like it's okay. Sit right now. We're entering into the mood of odd questions. Are you ready for that? I'm fine. I see general assumption that hotelers are humanizers. Is, is it right or wrong? 100% wrong. He said it's wrong. So, did you hear him? So, let's hear his reasons. So, give us your reasons. I'm so shocked and surprised to hear that from you. <laughs> because I, I don't know what makes you say that. It is not me, it is an assumption by uh, many, many Nigerians. You know, we have this mindset. You know, we live in a society that we, we, we come up with a particular mindset and we believe in it, and which is wrong. And that's why we have this statement to correct the stand what you said is wrong. So you help us correct it. It's not coming from BD's word, now it's coming from our guests. So that you know that mindset is wrong. So please, let's go with your explanation. I think uh, this is the first time I've been through that kind of question. Mm -hmm. and, and we told you it's an odd sentence. I understand what you mean. <laughs> what I say this is the first time I've through that kind of question is that I don't believe in what you just asked me. Mm -hmm. And that's why my answer is capital no. It's wrong because uh, the truth of matter I've traveled wide and far. I've touched almost all parts of the world. And uh, I enjoy staying in hotels because uh, you feel more comfortable when you're out there, when you're out of your home. Life is being made easy yeah. for you. So, and uh, all over the world I have traveled, apparently, we have gone, have not able to meet the hotel owner. And I have my reasons, I, I have my belief why I have not had an opportunity of meeting hotel owner except uh, one or two occasions I have a meeting with the owner. You know, one of the greatest challenges we have in Nigeria is that uh, the human resources in Nigeria is very poor. In most hotels abroad, or most, even most businesses, you hardly see the owner because the owner will always set his standard, standard and the business will long without much of his impact. But here is the vice case. Apart from hotel, you own businesses and the, you must be. If you're not present, then you must be. You business. must be involved in daily to daily running of it. So I think yeah, that's your question, might be because many times you see the owner of hotel in a year hotel and the, maybe you think what you want to think. You know, the truth of matter is that hotel are meant for travelers, hotel are meant for taking a break out of home, hotel are meant for user that is very important. So being a humanizer because you don't know your hotel is an individual thing. Thing. That's what I want to hear. Yeah, it's an individual thing. A humanizer, even if you're in the church as a pastor, even if you're in the church as a priest, you can still be a humanizer. Somebody that is not a humanizer, even if you like being in the cinema, you still have a self-control and discipline. That's actually the word I was expecting from you. We would like to take a, a trip around so that I could show us some of the things so that it's not the only us that will see, we and our girls will see what they are missing for not coming to my properties and my company hotel. So, let's take a trip. Don't touch the dad, we're still here. We'll be right back. Be this world, changing your mindset. This is called VIP route. Yeah. I 
Change your mindsets. 